hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so i was getting this query again and again that how many seats of jrf do we have for the csr net exam and i was trying to find the answer for it i was trying to search data numbers for it over the internet i was trying to look for the previous exams and it was very difficult to say because csir has never disclosed that how many number of seats they have because frankly speaking there is no fixed number of seat which they have already decided or they have already displayed uh, they have never mentioned about it that how many seats they have but when they publish the result at that time they mentioned that how many jrf they are giving how many ls they are giving how many csir jrf they are they are giving how many ugc jrf they are giving so they used to explain it in that way or they they used to express it in that way post result before result you cannot get that information from anywhere so i tried to uh, include all the information which we have from the previous exams and uh, with the help of that we can make some assumptions we can make some predictions about the number of seats that we can have for csir net jrf in the coming exams so stay tuned for that i'll be talking about it in detail so i have made a, a excel sheet for this and i'll be sharing that with you on the screen so you can find that out on the screen when i'll be talking about it so let's straight away dive into it and let's try to understand so if you see the previous few exams especially if you look upon csir june 2023 exam which was the last to last exam at that time the total number of registered students were 2 lakh 74 thousand and 27 students this was the total number of students including all the subjects including chemical sciences art sciences physical sciences mathematics all the subjects okay life sciences including all the subjects uh, out of them 1,99,890 students they were appear like they appeared for the exam and how many JRF they like they have given that year so they have given uh, 1,140 CSIR JRF and 3,300 UGC JRF if you convert this in percentage that comes out somewhere around 2.22 percent and uh, same if you talk about LS so the total number of LS which they have given that year was 4130 which comes around 2.06 percent of the number of students who appeared in the exam so roughly speaking if I can say that there were around 2.2 percent of JRF out of the students who appeared and 2.06 percent of LS which they have given and uh, right now I'm combining CSIR, JRF and, uh, and UGC, JRF both over here. Now uh, coming to the other exam which is CSIR December 2023. Now understand that CSIR December 2023 is an important exam because in this exam the number of seats especially for JRF has been decreased and that was drastically decreased. I have already discussed about this in my previous video in detail. I will give you a link of that video in the i button you can watch if you want to. So that time when the result were displayed i discussed about this issue that why it happened and what are the what are the consequences of that but yeah the thing is that there were less number of students who appeared in that exam and they were like 2 lakh 19146 students and out of those uh, those who appeared were 1 lakh 75355 so these were the number of students who appeared in the exam how many jrf they have given so earlier in the past exam that is in June 2023 there were 1140 CSIR JRF but this time there were 1424 CSIR JRF so they have increased the number of CSIR JRF by uh, somewhere around 290 numbers of CSIR JRF has been increased but what about UGC JRF so earlier there were 3300 a huge number of UGC JRF were there in June 2023 exam but they have decreased that to 1875 which is almost half of that so they have made a drastic decrease in the number of UGC JRF that year total if I combine both of those numbers so it comes out around 1.69 percent of the total JRF and that's what is the that's what is the lowest which I think from the last few years this is the lowest number of JRF which has been awarded till now uh, if you talk about the number of LS so that was also even decreased in the previous year it was like 2.06 percent but this time it was 3602 which is 2.05 percent so almost the number of LS is almost kept same but the percentage of JRF has been decreased from 2.22 to, uh, to 1.69 which is almost around 5 percent decrease in the percent of JRF students now considering that data considering the information which we have over here we can predict that how many number of uh, jrf 
we can expect this year so i have made a table with minimum and maximum because we when we are predicting we should have a bar or we should have a range we should we cannot talk about exact number so that's why i'm talking i'm going to talk about a range of students so i have kept a minimum value and a maximum value that the number of grf are going to go there now this assumption or this prediction is made on the basis of that i'm expecting that the number of grf candidates or the number of ls candidates are not going to be decreased further whatever has been decreased is decreased it's not going to go drastic change in the number of grf or there will be no drastic decrease in the number of grf seats and not even i'm expecting a drastic increase in the number of grf i'm just expecting it according to the last two years of data and i'm just expecting that if this is the range which is going to be maintained then let's see how many number of students we are going to have now over here i'm just going to talk about chemical sciences but i have also made it for other subjects and uh, after discussing about it i will just display that on the screen you can pause the video and you can look for your subject if you are, if you belong to some other subject but right now i'll just talk about chemical sciences okay so let's understand that so for chemical sciences if you see the total number of registered students were 50009 out of those 36315 students appeared for this exam now if you consider this as the number and now if i talk about grf over here i have to combine csir and ugc grf both and if i take the minimum number of grf or minimum percentage of grf as 1.6% so considering that there should be around 581 grf candidates who are going to be so there will be 581 seats of grf now this number of seat is going to include all the students from all the categories it's not category specific seat so you will be having unreserved students you will be having obc students scst student pwd students all grf combined you are going to have 581 minimum number of students maximum i have taken as 2% uh, so if you consider that you will be having 726 chemistry grf students okay that that's going to be range so from 580 to 720 that should be the range of grf which we can expect for chemical sciences if you talk about ls we don't have much bigger range in ls we only have a very small range of around 2% to 2.1% so the number of students will be roughly around uh, for ls it will be roughly around 726 to 760 that's going to be the number of ls that we are going to have for chemical sciences so if you combine all of them you should have around 1200 seats of minimum number of seats i'm talking so minimum 1200 seats for grf uh, plus ls that means qual uh, qualified candidates who will qualify either for grf or ls i'm excluding phd admission over here okay because we don't have any data for that so i'm excluding that will also be one more part of the result remember that i'm again reminding you there will be a third part of the result which will have phd qualified students Uh, but excluding that for now we are just talking about csir grf uh, or we are just talking about grf and ls students so total number of qualified ls plus grf are going to be 1200 from chemical sciences and maximum can be 1500 or 1600 uh, from both of them combined so this is what statistics says if you talk about total number of candidates so it goes somewhere around 2616 minimum grf and 3270 maximum number of grf seats this will include all the subjects including all the five six subjects whatever csir conducts the exam for and same goes for ls so 3270 to 3434 uh, that should be a range for uh, the qualified number of ls now uh, i have also made the same thing for other subjects as well this uh, right now on your screen you can see that so all the other subjects including chemical sciences then you have uh, physical sciences then you have life sciences then you have earth sciences all the subjects whichever csir conducts you have the range for that you can pause the video and you can look upon that so this was something which i predicted according to the previous data this is not to be taken as the final result or this should not be taken as the final values this is just based upon previous records previous statistics and that's how we use the statistics to predict the future or predict upcoming outcomes okay so that's what i have tried to do just to answer you guys just to answer your query that how many seats we have so this is the rough number of seats that we have for uh, csir grf and that should be the number of seats this year uh, according to me okay so do let me know what you guys think about it 
and what are your thoughts about it if you have any query you can ask me out in the comment section below uh, before ending this video i would just like to remind you that we are running a gamma batch on our app as well as on our website the link is there in the description of this video you can join that batch for physical chemistry preparation of your cs and exam the course fees is 2500 rupees and in that course we are providing detailed videos of all the topics of physical chemistry including mock test and also we have two type of mock test we have a topic wise mock test as well as we have full length mock test so this is going to make you well prepared for the exam and these mock tests have uh, like detailed solution as well so if you are if you are doing the mock test you will be able to see that where you are doing it wrong what are the things going wrong in your calculations and that you can verify with the solutions provided so this particular course is going to be helpful for your preparation of your upcoming cs and exams so do consider this if you want to prepare a physical chemistry course and uh, i will see you guys in the next video till then have a great day bye bye take care